it is so hot out here. Oh my gosh. I do not understand for the life of me why my husband decided to change an inside job to work outside in the middle of the afternoon. This is insane to me. I'm a mess. I thought I'd spend the day cleaning up my garden and making it, you know, less scary with the snakes. And uh, because the main part of the afternoon sun um, hits in the evening, I thought maybe it'd be a better choice to do it in the afternoon. Plus my girls have swimming and cheer camp and stuff like that this evening. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I think it's better to do in the middle of the night, maybe, because this is miserable. But I have a lot of the mowing done. It needs a lot of um, weed whacking in this area. And, um, you know, I still got to tie up those tomatoes, stuff like that. But I'm determined to finish it, even in a thousand degree temperature. <laughs> or you know 90 whatever i've just never been a heat person i am a cool weather person and i'm not a beach person i am a mountain person um a snow person this this is miserable on the plus side in this heat i did find a pumpkin plant in this mess but no matter how much I look around, I'm not finding any more, but surely there's got to be more somewhere within the snakes and mess. I don't know. Like right here, that's got to be one of the mounds I made. And that's a get. I didn't even take note of where I planted what kind of tomato. So, or where I planted them. So I don't know if I'm gonna have, you know, a Casper white pumpkin pop out of there or um, a, uh, you know, tiny one, a giant one. I have no idea, but I see see nothing in the rest of them. So I kind of hope they're at least the big ones. So, you know, we can do pumpkin picking here instead of having to take the kids to somebody else's farm this year. So I decided to sit over here while I rested and, you know, weed around these blueberry bushes. And um, it appears as though I might have killed these um, by getting a little carried away with the uh, mulching with my uh, tomato. Uh, not tomato, my rabbit um, bedding and manure. So great. Another epic fail. So funny story. I'm just learning of what I'm doing. And uh, <laughs> I had planted a lot of flower seeds around um, my like potatoes and you know, different um, seeds I had planted. And uh, so I've been watching these sprouts come up for a while thinking that um, it was, it was flowers <laughs> and although it looked like grass, but I was like, well, it's coming up all over where I planted these, these seeds at. So, you know, clearly it must be flowers of some sort. Maybe these zinnias or marigolds, really a weird kind. I don't know. So I, uh, let them go and let them grow but you know and I kind of questioned at first because my potatoes have fill dirt in the bottom so I was like well you know maybe this is a problem because there's uh dirt that didn't 
you know, I didn't buy from the store or whatnot. I'm like, hmm, I'll keep an eye on it. But then I noticed that the same sprouts were coming up around the, um, the dirt that I had filled containers with uh, that was, you know, from the store. So I was like, nope, must be, must be flowers. Well, as I was weeding, I decided to pull out my handy dandy app and take a picture of it. And uh, yeah, I've been growing basically weed grass uh, and fertilizing it for <laughs> a couple months now. So good thing, uh, good thing I wasn't, you know, planning on it for anything important. <laughs> it just looks, oh Lord, the joys of learning how to garden. <laughs> I guess this radish is going to be for <laughs> the bunnies because it bolted. Another one of my, what I thought was a flower, but I don't really see any other ones bolting. So maybe I'll still get some in this heat. I guess we'll have to see. I accidentally grabbed this little guy here when I was grabbing a piece of the uh, uh, Johnson grass. Right. This is one of the white radishes that would have been. <laughs> oh, darn it. So I came over here just in time to be terrified by these nasty things. Lots of jumping around and squealing for me immediately as I walk over to trellis these up. <sighs> Hope there's no more. They're so gross. Now I'd like someone to explain to me why my chickens came over here and did this to a couple of my plants or tomatoes, but left these. Did that, but left these jerks that can't keep harbored in the run. Huh. Look at all these chickens right here. Is this your guys' hangout spot over here? Huh? <laughs> Is this your hangout spot? All of you teenage punks that tore up my tomato plants and take refuge over here, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, funny story this morning. I'd been working some weird hours. Um, not like, not like anything like excessive, just uh, kind of weird. Uh, I worked um, let me think, what did I work? Monday morning, I worked until, no, I worked eight to four, and then I got off work and um, went back and, and worked midnight until 4 a.m. And then um, after that, I um, slept all day yesterday because, you know, I was, weirded out about my new hours and um here chickens here chicken come here come here here eat these eat these worms eat that worm eat it all right so anyhow so gross but had to be done all right so i um I slept most of the day yesterday because then I had to work from five till midnight last night. And so Shelly came this morning to watch the girls um, so I could sleep in some. Um, but the girls, the babies were actually at Buzz Lightyear with, with Madison until like midnight. So Prami was still sleeping in um, and Lainey and Mama and one of the girls' friends that came with Mama was out. Um, playing with the animals and whatnot. And uh, Shelly comes in and she's like, I hate to do this, but 
your baby goat is running around and I can't catch it. I'm like, oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know how she got out, which is, you know, usually Louisa that gets out. Louisa will get out and come look for me and nobody else can get out. But this morning it was Isabella and she was about as freaked out as mama was. I went out there and, um, Again, she's one that doesn't really <laughs> like me that well unless I have animal crackers. And she saw me and came running around, literally running around the fence to get to me because she was so freaked out that she had gotten herself out of the pasture and couldn't get back in. So I had to pick her big old self up and put her over the side. But it was pretty funny to watch her run to me like, what have I done? And now these children have been chasing me and I'm so scared, help me. So it was nice to see her like me for for something besides animal crackers. It was a good morning. So I guess what I'm going to try is to transplant beans, which I know it's not really something that you transplant, but they seem to keep wanting to live. Uh, even though, you know, I was done with that for this spring because it got too hot, but I might as well try to transplant it rather than dig them up and kill them or just let them, I don't know, get eaten by a chicken or something over here. Well, now I've been so sure that I've been raising grass this whole time that I've been pulling things just to find out. I've been pulling marigolds. Oh, maybe I just need to give up for the day. Y'all, I was just leaning forward and this freaking ground started moving. The snake comes up out of there. I'm going to lose my mind what is happening in my garden right now. Okay, it stopped. Where did it go? Ooh. size of that freaking worm that's coming out over there while the ground is moving here. I don't know what is most mortifying to me right now. Oh god. What the hell is going to pop up out of there? I don't know. I'm going to go get my cat. aerating the ground while there is a worm that is like entirely too long and it reminds me of something I saw on Facebook last night about these worms that are invading <laughs> Word, what is happening? Invading the southern states. And if you cut it, it'll turn into tin. And don't touch it with your bare hands. And it literally was on a gardening thing. I think it's real. But what? Yeah, and then these worms are all coming up wherever this thing is moving at. beginning to think I've seen this horror movie and I probably should run. I feel like that idiot in the movie that walks toward the sound. Sure, at this point, looks like it's 
probably broke the roots of that cucumber and it's not like I'm having a lot of luck this year. I don't have any <laughs> fruit to spare. So I have one there and two there. And I think they're the only cucumbers that even came up at all. And they're not doing very good and not very far. So I really wish I wouldn't have changed out of my boots at this point. That was scary. So, oh, I think I scared it away for now or it's gonna jump up and attack my face like freaking Tremors movie. But, dang it. All right, so I have decided that I am going to take some of the um, spots that I had taken the um, snap peas out of, or sugar peas, and just try some other um, seeds that I had in my collection. Um, I don't know that it's too late, but I mean, honestly, most of them are from last year, and I forgot them out in the greenhouse last year, so they were in extreme heat for months. And this year I've done it a couple times, like I just took them out of the garage. So I'm not even sure they're gonna work and I would rather try it out in June of this year than be more together next year and have a bunch of dead seeds. So um, rather than go to waste, I'm just gonna try. I mean, no harm in that, right? And I'm also going to plant some more of my um, sweet potato slips that I started. So I'm just going to put them in the same bag, I guess, and see, see if they take off. It seems like once I put them into the dirt, they, they stop, but they're going crazy in my kitchen in the glass of water. It's just the kind of year I'm having with all my plants, I think. All right, so I got them all planted and I, I might totally regret this, but I took one of them and um, planted it in here with my, um, I think it's a lemon drop watermelon in that one. It's either that or a Kajari melon, but either way, I had such terrible luck last year with melons that I almost hate to, you know, waste the trellis space and the um, bag if I'm gonna have bad luck again. So I may regret it or, you know, who knows, maybe neither will even take off. I mean, that's kind of been my theme this year. So we'll see. So over here, I decided to just add to the cucumbers. Are you kidding me right now? What the heck is that thing? What is that? It looks like a scorpion. Oh my gosh, seriously. Does that not look like a scorpion? Look at its raised tail. Oh, I'm not having a good day out here. This is disgusting. Okay, so. I have that out of there now. That was terrifying. Oh my God. <sighs> Same garden bed too. There's the cucumbers with the tremors and the foot long worm. All right, so here I decided to plant some um, okra now, which I'm pretty sure this is where I had planted the okra before. And with cucumbers, okra, and squash, which I planted four more squash, um, two black beauty, and then two of the summer squash. So four squash, um, I think eight of the okra, and I really don't know of the cucumber, but um, and I swear this is what I planted before. So either I'll have a lot or I'll have none probably none that's how my year's going the scorpions trimmers and uh 
snake worms will eat them all. Oh my gosh, it's starting to escape. Oh, it's like I'm scared to kill it. It's so gross. I mean, like, what if I can't kill it? What if I can't kill it? All right, so I went ahead and planted some more rosemary here. I have no idea what in the world happened to the last one, why it dried up and died. Nothing else is like that. Uh, some more cilantro in between there and uh, the rest of my Greek oregano there because um, it's a couple years old and I guess I didn't put any um, oregano anywhere. Ooh, unless that was there. I don't know. And then here I went ahead and put a whole bunch more calendula to grow in that spot. Um, My bee balm is looking good. I deheaded that. Mint. My potatoes. And I just think I'm gonna find places to tuck away uh, sunflowers. There's a whole bunch of new sunflowers I bought this year. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Which the reason these are in weird. Um, like boxes is because I was going to do one of those cool uh, pea teepees for the girls, but uh, the wind was too strong and just kept knocking the poles over. So I had to give up, but yeah, you saw, you saw how the peas did. It wasn't very good. So it wasn't gonna be a very cool teepee anyhow. So I think with a Google search, I figured out that that terrifying scorpion looking thing is called an assassin bug which is just terrifying on its own right there so um i have it trapped under a glass i'm pretty sure my husband needs to kill it when he gets home and yeah i'm too scared to do it myself so it's a good job so i decided to plant two uh, of these mammoth russian sunflowers in each of the planners because maybe if they do work it would be cool to maybe make some kind of little sunflower fort out of them maybe they're supposed to be um so seven to twelve feet tall so that would be cool if they were just out. moving some of the dirt around in here and i found i found a potato <gasps> so now because these are dying off and they say once that happens that the potatoes are like wow are ready but these are so little that I'm definitely taking these top ones in that are long and rabbit poop but so cool first potato harvest of the year I don't really want any more to be on top like that because I mean I want them a little bit bigger but that was so cool. It was a nice little surprise. Home to kill the bug for me. I decided to try some of these easy to grow sunflowers. Just kind of threw a couple of them like only four or five in this hay because I read somewhere the other day that a lot of plants can literally grow just in hay. So um, these are, okay, so four to five feet tall. We'll see. Okay, so in the tiny little gap by these sticks that were, supposed to be raspberry plants. Another epic fail. I went ahead and tried this evening sun. Um, they're six feet tall. So hey, bye. Love you. bye, love you. So we'll see if are the boys going? Yep. Okay. Um, All right. So we will see if they're able to make it up from that tiny little slot. I don't know. I don't want to take the sticks out though because I had a rose do that one year 
and the next year the rows came up like out of there anyhow so I thought I'm just gonna leave those in there just in case so I then decided to plant some of these uh, moonshine um, sunflowers they're about supposed to be four feet tall so I planted those in the corners of the potato beds where I just found the potatoes on top because I don't I honestly don't think they have that much long longer in there so might as well put a couple sunflowers and see if they work out I mean the the grass had good luck in there so I did one in this corner and then one in that corner so I'm also going to try them I think up here around my um, trees. Ooh. Sprung a leak in the hose. It kind of scared me. Um, because four feet. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's not a good idea. Uh, might block. Would it kill it out, I wonder? Hmm. Maybe that's not a great idea. I thought it was. I thought it'd be pretty, but maybe I should do one in each of these little pots down here. This in uh, citr Citronella. All right. So basically, I kind of planted a row um, of sweet corn right along the front here. I don't really know that it'll take. I mean, I'm sure like maybe two or three will take or whatever, but probably, probably not that many because that's, that's just how it works when I plant something that, you know, purposefully. Um, now somebody else could, you know, throw them out here and have luck not even trying to bury them or space them or anything, but I'm not, I'm not that person. So I won't have that kind of work. It's just kind of like how I hear people always talk about how they uh, um, just threw a pumpkin in the ditch and the next year had full pumpkin vines. And I'm like, okay, so do you know how many years I've tried to grow pumpkins? And I have never ever had a pumpkin. So, I mean, just the, the squash bugs alone that eat them, you know, let alone um, just not growing, just straight up not growing, but <laughs> I, I don't know. So we'll see, maybe, maybe I'll have three or four fresh uh, ears of corn this fall. <laughs> okay, looks like there are lots of blackberries that are getting ready to turn. So that'll be cool. And cherry tree got a little a little taller. Down here we have apple trees. So this one here is a honey crisp apple, which is my favorite apple. Oh, looks like it's having a rough go. Maybe, oh, but it needs some water. It's just so blasted hot out here. I need to drill some holes in buckets and put them down here. And then this is the Golden Delicious. Japanese beetles causing that? Oh, yep, sure is. Ugh, day and stupid bugs everywhere. Man, jerks. Ugh. Ooh, but behind me are the wild blackberries with all the thorns. And they Mmm, they're so good. Oh my goodness. And Prami isn't even here. 
Oh, man. There's a big mess on my hands. I've got it bleeding. Look at this. I am surprised the chickens aren't hanging out here. They must not know. Look at all these. Oh man, right there. I need to come out here later when it's, it doesn't have the sun down there. Pick some black. Hello, my beautiful girls. You have more room to walk around now, pretty girl. <laughs> oh gosh, I love them. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Poppy. The Poppy is my um, my uh, Rex, my mini Rex, and I've been saying for a while I got to get Lily's boys out of here before they get too old. And today I caught this boy right here. Um, mating with Poppy. And I got a good three, or he got a good three tries in before uh, I was able to get in there. So I thought, well, I'm going to put him in with Basil now. Because I figured that uh, he wouldn't run off. And, uh, no, no, he got out of Basil's cage. Now, yeah, one of my daughter's friends was here and caught him and put him back in here so I could figure out what to do again. So, we may have New Zealand, um, mini rip, mixed with spoon. What I had was Petunia, but Petunia died. But Poppy was supposed to be made of a bean, but that was the one that didn't get made it because I didn't have her when all that was happening. So, well, just great. Oh, look at this sweet face right here. Oh, sweet baby. Are you out of food? Huh? So these are half mini rex and uh, half um, lion heads. So they are bound to be the softest bunnies in the entire world. More surprise bunnies is what they are. Oh, you guys ate all your hay out of here, huh? Have to get you some more? Get some more food? Yeah? Hello, birdie hen. How are you today? Huh? Hey, who ate an egg? Hi, baby. Do you have an egg under there today? Huh? Do you have an egg under there today? Oh, I know. I know. Are you healing at all? Hiding in here? No? Is there an egg under there? Mama, you've stayed on this one for a while. It could happen this time, I think. Ooh, it's gross in here already. Yes, it is. So, Morgan is working on uh, bringing the fence that was right here, and then the gate went between these two poles. He put the gate between there, and has moved the fence down further so they have more time in the shade. Yeah, and didn't need to lay in this little spot right there when it was uh, shade time. So, pretty nice to have this expansion. And then uh, we'll put a fence between here so they can rotate pastures. So less of a chance of getting, you know, different kinds of worms and stuff like that from being in their own 
feces for too long. And then, let's say turn into this too, so that's why it looks different in there. It took me a while to figure out why it looked different. <laughs> then I realized the door was in a different spot. And this was yesterday, not today when I was just in there, but uh, I got a I got a nosy chicken that got in there while I was feeding them. And And it's not getting out, so I guess I'm gonna have to go in there and catch it. And it seems like whatever I'm doing, I um, generally have one chicken that follows me. Now, I haven't had it in a while because uh, these older ones did not get out of the pasture, but since this gate was moved, it's higher off the ground, I think they just walk out. But I always have one. And, uh, <laughs> come here. And I say, I always wonder if it's the same one. Like, I've literally had them, one, just follow me around while I'm mowing. And, uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh, Lord. Just follow me around while I'm <laughs> mowing. And, it's funny, and I always call the one Hennifer. I always wonder if it's the same one, but you know, they all look alike. They're ones I got. Nope, that way. That way. I don't want to carry you on my shoulder. Seriously. Look at this. What is this? As I said, I call it Hennifer. And I always just wonder, is this the same chicken that just seems to like me uh, more than the others? I, I don't know. I don't know why it's perched on my arm. Go! Oh, the dogs. Alright. <laughs> Alright, how about we come this way? Do you get down then? There we go. Leave. Oh! Zena! These dogs. I always wonder. I just don't know if they would hurt them or if it's just like super fun to scare anything that gets loose. All right, so my husband said that some old guy when he was younger would take corn cobs and put it by his plants so that they would soak up moisture and then uh, release it slowly. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try one in these, uh, ooh, let's see if I can even get it in there. Ugh. All right. So one in the peppers. And I'll try one in, uh, I think the spaghetti squash. That one's the one I'm most desperate to get out of all the ones in the baskets over here. So I'll put it right between these two. My word, that is some hard dirt. All right, and I guess I'll just water them in this bucket real quick. I mean, not bucket, <laughs> watering tan. I can rub my hose all over. So I brought over the uh, bunny bedding that I cleaned out and uh, um, the poop because I guess um, rabbits have like poop that's like gold and garden fertilizers and it's a cold manure so it can go straight onto your plants. So I went ahead and took the bedding and kind of separated it as well as I could. And I put it over on the area that I actually just planted um, the um, you know, attempts at corn and where the pumpkins and stuff was at. But the reason I did that is because I would rather 
you know, not get pumpkins or corn or whatever, then um, my husband getting poison ivy, which is what I'm trying to smother out in that area. There's just tons and tons of poison ivy and he has a, a terrible reaction to it. So, um, am I throwing that on the ground? So I went ahead and tried to smother that and then took um, the poop that I just kind of raked, or not raked, but um, sifted with my pitchfork and just went across the top of, of that bed and then the last little bit around those um, garden beans that are growing. So, I mean, God knows I can use all the help I can get on my garden this year. So, I <laughs> can't even hold the camera right. So anyhow, I think I'm about done back here just because my feet are killing me. I was wearing the rain boots all morning while I mowed and then these sandals and for whatever reason, they aren't, they aren't liking me today. So I'm gonna at least take a break or be done. I'm not really sure, we'll have to see. Time will tell after I sit down. I jumped into the pool, clothes and all. I just got so hot all of a sudden. <laughs> this water feels so good. <laughs> I got a lightning bug! You got a lightning bug? Oh, cool. It lit up on your hand. Bye, 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 rainbow! Bye, rainbow! Oop. Why got on your chair? You almost kill it. Oop, I did. The mommy, yeah, you had them in your hand, yeah. <gasps> Gotta Damn not be afraid of them. Get a big dinosaur. Do it, do it. What about get the? Bye bye. Yeah, they're everywhere outside. Did you get it? Yeah. yeah? I can't catch it. I can't. Oh. I can't. It's because you're scared of them for some reason. Bye. What is it? What is it? Oh, uh oh. What a waste. It was a blackberry from our bushes. I didn't like it. Oh, since when? Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Blackberries. Mm -hmm.